Well, good morning. Last time we had ended up at a cell then, we're looking for Halberd. And we also looked for one of these roving threats, which I could not find last time, but as luck would have it, there is one up right now. And as you can see, he is of the Erskine variety. He also has 338,800 morale. And he has at least two adds, each with 92,000 morale. We're not going to get too close to him because he will smack us. But, yep, there is a roving threat for you. You can tell that they're roving threats, one, because they're level 100, and two, because they've got, usually have some sort of a glow to them. This guy has a green glow on top of his head. And we're just going to go this way now, because <laughs> we don't want to be that close. <laughs> no, let's not get up close and personal with this one, shall we? His name is... Valicus. So yay, we finally found a roving threat. <laughs> and they're definitely something you want a couple of people along to uh, take care of. Or if you're really that good or over leveled, you might want, you might be able to try them solo. Guarantee, I am neither. Oh, and it's nice and bright day. We can see the statues on either side of this gate leading into Angmar. They are very interesting looking. It looks like they were holding hands at one point, but her arm is broken in one part. I'm assuming they were representing the king and queen of the region. That's my guess. Very actually nice looking statues, even though they are, of course, evil. But now, now that we're done being tourists, Let's head in and talk to Halberd, shall we? And here's Halberd. We win little if the northern lands are lost to evil. For long years have the Dunedain wandered in the wilderness, Medril. Your message confirms what I have long suspected. The hour is near at hand when my people must come forth. I will ride to the aid of my friend and chieftain Aragorn, son of Arathorn, and let no man or beast stand in the path of the Grey Company. There is evil still here, Medriel, and if we do not deign leave Eriador to fend for itself, what then? We win little if, when all the deeds of the age are done, the northern lands are lost to evil, their peoples destroyed. Dear Voon told you why I have come to this place? Already I have destroyed three idols the Angmorm brought out of Corndoom, but I believe three remain. Destroy these statues of their most prized leadership, and the Angmorm here may abandon hope of raising Angmar into prominence again. Return to me when you have done so, and we can speak again. Alright, this is always a fun one because I don't always have an easy time remembering where everything is. We're going to go ahead and eat some food. Okay. But yeah, they kind of built a quasi city into the mountain here.
see if I can remember where all of these statues are. Probably going to take me a few tries. We will be finding a lot of pain more while we're in here, though. Right, it does look like I went the wrong way, which I'm not surprised about at the very least. I don't think there's a... No, the hole is above me. Okay. Still, it does not hurt to map this area out. <laughs> Yeah, I always thought this was one of the more unusual spots in the game. Because like I said, they're literally building the... Or built the city inside the mountain. Which way? Okay, we're going back the way we came. And we've been that way. Yeah, we've been that way. But we need to go this way. In this place, you really have to keep an eye out for turns, ramps, things like that. Like this ramp over here. Which way are we going? Excuse me, I'm not your pin cushion. You can stop that now. Now we got a couple of directions we can go here. I think 
think I want to go this way first. Okay, so there's one of our statues right over there. And this is the statue of Amorthiel. And we have destroyed the statue of Amorthiel. I think that's the only thing here. It is. And I'm trying to remember if there was another one up this way. I guess we're going to find out. Almost missed that guy. He's the same color as the background. All right, there's a bridge here. I like the sorceress's dresses. I always kind of wish I could have one as a outfit. Okay, this leads around to that spot that I was looking at that had the oh, hole. This is the above portion of it. Yeah, no, don't be uh Okay. Nothing that way. Oh, there's another one of them. And this is the statue of the Witch King. All right, so that one's done. We're Two down, and we have to find the statue of Mordoreth. I don't think it's this way, but we will look. Obviously, we're not having too much issue taking care of stuff in here. Of course, we are a couple levels over the mobs here. And no lie, I don't mind that. Not in this spot. It just makes life a lot <laughs> quicker. Okay, so I think we just came back to where we were earlier. Hello. Oh, I see it. Wow. I actually managed to find that easily. I am 
Amazed. Okay. And there is the statue of Mortar. And there's the hole. So we can just go ahead and jump down. Wow. Nice jump. She managed to do that without uh, even breaking a bone. Oh, he even managed to do it in the right order, too. Well, almost the right order. I think there's another way to do it to get you even closer to Halberd when you're done. But I don't mind. I like this. Because <laughs> we are pretty close to the entrance, I believe. I could be wrong. But I don't think I am. For once, I might actually be accurate. <laughs> I get rid of y'all. And the other place we could have done done is jump down from that bridge. But this was easy. All right, Halbert, I have done what you asked. Return now to Diaboon in Esteldeen with my command. You have completed what I started, Medriel, and I am grateful for that. You have my thanks, too, for bringing me word of Aragorn's need for the Dunedain. We will ride to him with all the haste that can be mustered, through whatever perils await. Return now to Darabun and Esteldon with this command. He is to select as many of the rangers of that camp as he feels can be spared without jeopardizing the safety of the people of the North Downs. We ride to Aragorn, but I will not allow us to dismiss our responsibilities in Eriador. Okay. Very easy. Oh, and look, it's nighttime now. Isn't that lovely? Well, if, uh, Mr. Roving Threat is still up, we'll get a look at his glowing crown again. Of course, it could be that somebody has already taken care of him, or he might disappear periodically. I don't know if he actually stays up constantly until somebody kills him. That might be a little bit of a problem. Because I don't know if a lot of people come through and kill the roving threats anymore. It used to be, people would do it a lot because... You could get some pretty nice rewards off of them. I don't know if they're quite so important anymore. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah, he's glowing nicely. I don't think we want to piss, piss him off, but I don't know. Find out if he will aggro. I'm pretty sure he will. Yep, yeah, hi. Goodbye. <laughs> Hi, bye. I'm, I'm going that way. <laughs> you can chase me. Oh, you're still chasing me. Yep, yeah, bye. <laughs> I think he stopped. Yeah, he doesn't chase far, but that was funny. <laughs> what, do you think I was actually going to stay there and let him pound me into jelly? No, I don't think so. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm not going to be dumb and try to see if he aggros, which he clearly does. <sighs> uh, 
And there are others. Let's see. Let's see if I can think of. Like I said, there are. Okay, so there have to be. No, I think there are only two in North Downs. That guy, which sometimes also shows up out front where the art camp is. And a drink. If there's a third one, I'm not recalling it. There is definitely one in Misty Mountains, probably two there. There are, I believe, two in Evendom. I don't know about Poor Shell, but it would make sense to have at least one there. I don't know about the Troll Shot. Pretty sure there isn't one in the Lone Lands. There are definitely roving threats in Rohan. Those are the ones I can recall, or the areas I can recall that have them off the top of my head. All right. And here's Darvoon. I will do as Halbarad wishes. I will do as Halbarad wishes. I too do not wish to endanger the people of the North Downs by our absence. I will speak with the rest of my kin here at Esteldon. Other hands wait for your message. I will grab this even though I don't really necessarily need it. Well, maybe I'll have to look at the stats on it later. And where am I heading now? Bring your message next to Colin Glock. I do not know whether he will wish to join the ranks of the Grey Company on their southward journey, but Kalinglad should be told of the mission all the same. He feels a very strong bond to the lands around Lake Evendom and to the ruins of Anuminus, and may not be able to bring himself to leave. Bring him the message, in the event I misjudge his temperament. You will find him at Tenendir, the ranger camp on the shore of Lake Evendom. If he does join the company, he will be a valuable ally on the Southern Road. So we get a map to Forest Shell. Oh, no, we get a map to Forest Shell after we talk to Kalinglad. I was going to say. And they do not give you a map to Tenendir here. Because you really are literally that close. It's just a stable away. So, oh, well, dear sir, can you, uh, can you take me to Tenender, please, and thank you. All right, so we have made it to Tenender. I see there are a few people here, hopefully having fun. Tenadir is one of those few ruins that actually has something like a vault, which is kind of handy. And you would think I had not recently cleaned out my bags. I assure you I have. But they are a little messy now. Again. All right, Alan Glad. And we want to talk to we want this one. I wonder if this day would come. You say that Aragorn has need of the Dunedain. I wondered if this day would come. We have safeguarded Anuminus and the lands around Lake Evendom for so long now that it seemed we would do so forever. To be told thus that it comes to an end and we must travel into distant lands to the south. Kalingad gazes for a moment out at the clear waters of Lake Evendom. I will go with the Grey Company. That is my duty, and I will not shy away from it. But first, I want to save some of the relics of Anuminus from being plundered. Angmorum still haunts the city, leaderless though they be, and in the past few weeks they have allied themselves with numerous tomb raiders to strip the city of any relics they can find. Let us recover such relics from one of the wards while we still can. Speak with me, 
when you are ready to go. Okay, so that is an instance and we will be doing that next time. Until then, bye for now.